Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about basically what happened to me on Thursday because a lot of you guys on social media have been asking me to explain basically what happened. I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, which is where I kind of talked about it, which if you don't, everything will be on the screen if you guys want to go follow me there. I'm pretty active on both of those. But basically, what happened was your girl got jumped, and it was by somebody that I've never met before. I don't know them. The only thing they told me was that they hated me, which kind of scares me. And honestly, for the past couple of nights, I have been going to sleep crying like a lot because, and I'm not trying to like sound like a pussy, but literally, like I went to bed crying because when you go to bed at the end of the day, you just really think of everything that you know, that's been on your mind, it just like kind of all hits you at once. And I just couldn't really understand why she would do that to me. Like, why would somebody think it was okay? Like, who in their right mind would think that it's okay that just because you don't like somebody? Keep in mind, like I said, I don't know her. Never met this girl in my life. Why would she think it was okay to just run up to me and punch me in the face and then kick me and slap me? All this shit. Like, let me just get into the story. So this all started when I was trying to go to Target because I wanted to get makeup for my How I Did My Makeup in High School video and I also wanted to go and pick up some decor for my paranormal video that I was going to post for you guys. Basically just ended up getting like, uh, like cloths that have like fake blood on it, I got fake blood, I got like random things like a fake spider, another rat, like I already have a bunch of plastic rats, but you know what? Get more plastic rats, why not Vanessa? So that is basically the main reason I was just trying to go to Target because I wanted to make videos for you guys, which just kind of sucks because I was going for YouTube and something happened that involved YouTube, you know what I mean? So basically what I was trying to do was I wanted to go park in the underground parking there, but I went during the rush hour of Target. I'm not even kidding, if you live in LA, you know that there is a certain time when you don't try to go to the store. And I don't know why I insisted, but your girl was just trying to go get her shit done, get it all over with, just trying to deal with that. Because also, Licia was going to come over later on, we were going to work out, film a video, all of that stuff. So I wanted to go get that out of the way. So I went into the underground parking, and when I said that it is the rush hour, I mean everybody's trying to get in and out of there. There is no parking at all. There's only two floors of parking. So you have to either fit in there, or you have to find somewhere else to park. And unfortunately, your girl did not fit. So I had to end up going, leaving, and going and parking on residential. So that means I had to walk to Target. Now that wasn't an issue for me, I don't care, it was maybe like a three minute walk from my car so it's not that bad at all. So as I'm walking up to my car, there's a black Honda parked on my right side. Now keep in mind, where this car was parked, you're not supposed to park there. If it's red on the sidewalk, like on the curb, if it's red, that means don't park, don't stop, don't nothing. That's only for the firefighters. So don't, don't do that, don't do that. So I'm just walking past and I'm like, what an idiot. You're gonna get towed. Congratulations, dumbass. Like, good for you. So I'm just walking, walking past them and then this girl comes around. This blonde girl, maybe about 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, she looked young too, so I wasn't intimidated. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, like that, that girl's bigger than me. Like, why is this girl like coming out of nowhere? Like, I wasn't intimidated. She literally looked like she just got out of school or something. Cause she was wearing like jeans, some, I don't know if they were bands or slide-ons or something. Like she had that like, I'm a sophomore in high school look, like that kind of look, that age. So I'm just like walking past her and all of a sudden she runs up on me. And if you don't know what run up means, that means in my lingo that they're just walking then they just like skirt really fast. Like they just dash at you out of nowhere, which is how she managed to punch me in my eye. Because if I was like with the intention of fighting somebody, this would not have happened. And I'm not trying to sound like a hard ass bitch because I know some people are gonna be like, haha, you try to sound like a hard ass bitch and look, you got punched in the face. Like I understand that, but she came at me out of nowhere. I didn't expect, like why would I expect somebody to just try to come and knock me the fuck out when I'm trying to leave Target, you know what I mean? So I'm just walking and she came out of nowhere, decks me in my eye, I am shook as fuck. I drop my bag, bitch. I drop my bag and this girl starts kicking me. Now I'm not talking about like I'm on the floor like, oh, oh, you're kicking me. No, legitimately she's like just kicking her leg up, kicking me. She kicked me in my thighs. She kicked me in my fucking arm here and here. I was so sore right here. I couldn't even lift my arm or like barely use my hand because it hurt so freaking bad. This arm she kicked but I was fine. It didn't hurt afterwards. But she just kept kicking the shit out of my thighs, which I will include a picture right here of my thigh, either side of me. I will put a picture of my thigh because I already know somebody's going to be like, show us, show us, like, where are these pictures? Where's this evidence? Where's the receipts? And also, before somebody thinks that my black eye is fake, 
I proceeded to bring Simple Micellar Cleansing Water, which is a makeup remover, and a cotton pad because I know somebody is going to think that I'm lying and is going to think that my black eye is fake. I, honestly, if you fake a black eye, that's disgusting and that is a cry for attention, which is not what I'm trying to do at all. So your girl's gonna just continuously and gently wipe my eye. Let me get closer because I know someone's gonna be like, she's floating, she's not actually doing it. And I'm trying to be gentle because my eye is still very much sore. So if you guys wanna get a, a good look at that, there you go. I actually got punched. So I wasn't just standing there, I was hitting her back. Like I was like swinging back at this girl. Like I wasn't just gonna let her continuously hit me. And then eventually she got one last slap in me and she ran. And she got in that car, that black car, that I was just talking about, like, why are you parking there? You're not supposed to be there. And they took off. That was it. They didn't have a regular license plate. They had, like, a Honda of blah, blah, blah. I think it was, like, Honda of Hollywood or something. Like, Honda of nah, nah, nah. Like, some random city. Like, those ones that when you don't have your license plate yet. I noticed that in California. Like, back in Arizona, if you just got a new car, they automatically put, like, a little, like, piece of paper there so it could be like your license plate until you get your actual one. They didn't have that. They don't do that here in California. When I got my car here, they didn't give me a license plate right away. I had to wait multiple weeks to get a license plate. So I assume it was probably a newer car or they just got it so they didn't have a plate on it yet. So I couldn't remember the plate because your girl has pretty good memory. I'd be able to remember the letters at least the first four or six and they could probably find the person, you know what I mean? So they hopped right in the car and they took off and I legitimately grabbed my bag, like a few of my things fell out, put it back and I ran to my car. I was crying like a little bitch. I, I honestly like, in my head I was telling myself, do I call the cops or do I just let this go? So I didn't know what to do, so I called my friends and I know some of you are going to be like, why would your friends say that? But all of them told me not to call the cops. Like all of them. Nobody told me to call the police. They're like, what are the police going to do? They're not going to find her. She took off. This is California. They're not going to find her. So in my head, I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> like, okay, so they're just going to get get away with it? Like, okay, nice. And that was that. Like, that's literally it. A random person that I don't know came up to me and started fighting me. And the only thing they told me, like, the only thing they said was, I hate you. Now, I don't know, do I look like a lot of people? Do I look like someone that you hate? Like, <laughs> you don't know, like, I don't know you. Like, if I don't know you and you want to hit me, like, I understand if you don't like my videos, no one's telling you to watch them, but was that really necessary to attack me? Like, really? So yeah, I really don't know, like, I don't know the girl, like I said, it was just a random Caucasian blonde 5354 five, girl that looked like she was 15 or 16 years old. Like, if I go to the police with that description, what are they gonna say? The entire state? Are we supposed to look for every person that fits that description? Like, you know what I mean? And I know some people are also probably thinking, why don't you go and look and see if there's cameras? And that's what my friend Ashley actually told me to do. She said to go look around there and see if there was cameras. If it was inside of the Target parking lot, there would have been a ton of people so that probably wouldn't have even happened and there would have been cameras for me to be like security like get that footage get that bitch whatever but i had to park in residential and i had to walk which i will never do again if i don't find parking i will go to another store i honestly am kind of terrified to go places by myself now i don't think i'm that bitch that needs to go and get security because this was just one incident but at the same time this was just one incident and it was a 15 or 16 year old girl maybe she was older like i don't know maybe she was older she looked really young but if a girl at that age is like like in her head she thinks that's okay like what makes you think that somebody older like more sinister more sick would do something like like more intense like what makes you think they wouldn't like I don't know it just like really creeps me out but that's basically what happened everybody like that has been sending me love I'm fine you guys like I said like I leg legitimately only have a black eye I mean yesterday or the other day my face was very very puffy because I like I said I got punched there so this part of my face was very swollen but I put some frozen blueberries on it and this side she only slapped me so it didn't like I just spit everywhere. I hope you guys didn't see that, but if you did, sorry. But like I said, like I only got slapped on this cheek, so she didn't really like leave a mark on there. It was a little red for like a second, but like it went away right away. Well, not right away, but like a couple hours later. And then I tasted blood and this tooth was like feeling some type of way. I got so scared for my life. Like if I was gonna lose a tooth, 
and I didn't know who it was, like, I would honestly, like, break down and just be so upset because your girl went through so much dental work to look like this. Like, I went through so much dental work to get my teeth like this. So I would just be really, really upset. And it was really expensive as well. Like, my parents had to pay for all that stuff. So that would just make me really, really mad. And also, also, to my friends, to my friends that took, the one that took my taser and never returned it, and the one that took my pepper spray and didn't return it, thank you. Because I couldn't, I'm not saying it's their fault, but like I basically had nothing to defend myself because people love to take shit and not return it. So, that's it for this video. I really don't know what else to say, like, like I don't know what to say, like, I just wanted to tell you guys what happened. Like, I'm, I don't, like, I don't want to go on a rant for, like, 30 minutes stretching the story because, honestly, I hate when people have, like, a short-ass story and they make it 40 minutes long and it's just, like, repeating the same thing over and over. It gets annoying. Have you ever been jumped before by some bitch that you don't even know? Hopefully the girl that did jump me does come forward so I can sue your ass and tell the police. Like, please, please come forward. Please admit to doing this because... I would love to call the cops on you. Like, it would be really fun. I would really much enjoy that. It's honestly so unmotivating to, like... Like, I love YouTube with a fucking passion. I love my channel. I love making videos and entertaining you guys and making you smile and just, like, meeting you guys and everything. But it's so unmotivating that this kind of stuff happens to me because of my channel. Like, if I wouldn't have had a YouTube channel, like, this girl wouldn't have came up to me and done this to me. Like, I know she just, like, I mean, she just jumped me, but it's a lot deeper than that. Like, the fact that she thought it was okay, the fact that I never met them, I'd understand if maybe we had a bad experience together. I mean, I wouldn't understand, still not a reason to hit somebody, but, like, if we had a bad experience and that's what you were going off of, then okay. But if I've never even seen you or knew you were alive, like what? So the world is a disgusting place. Be careful, you guys. I care for every single one of you. Like, please be careful. Don't go places by yourself. Like, I went at like, what was it? Like, was it 2.30 or 3? Like, I went like mid-afternoon and I still had this happen. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe for more. I mean, I really wouldn't want you to enjoy this story. Like, all of my information will be in the description below along with other videos. If you guys want to check those out, click the playlist. Do whatever you want, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!